Hello everyone, it's me, T8Q. Welcome back to Minecraft Survival School. We're gonna get right into it today and go rabbit hunting. We need rabbits for the update and we have not gotten any yet. We actually need to do a lot with the animals. But let's head out this way, east, see what we can find. Not rabbits, but not nothing. Let's see if we can get in this chest. Okay, maybe it is nothing. Still not rabbits. Take a look. In a chest. Okay, gold is not great. What a motley crew this is. Come on, get away from... This is now my... Yep, get away. All of you must die. Emperor... Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to dig down. Let me get my shovel out. And we'll find this chest. There it is. Now that's what I'm talking about. Kind of. I actually have a farm for every single one of these things, but, uh, yeah, it's nice to have. Take the gold nuggets, too. Into the sunset. I'll take these blue flowers. But yeah, that was, uh, kind of a bust. Also looks like I'm far from home. Oh, hello. Foxes. Now, I think it's berries that you can tame them with, but they're very skittish. So, I don't know what I need to do to get them. Probably a lead. Um, but I'm not going to use my leads at this point on them. Because I want something else. Ow. Yeah, that's not going to work. Doggies! Do I have bones? I do. Uh, we'll just remember where we are. So, negative 701. Okay, cool. Let's continue home so we can head the other way. This should be a good place to find bunnies. The best place is actually the desert. Uh, because there's not a lot of other mobs that will also spawn in the desert. Hey, speak of the devil. Hello, bunny. Many bunny. Okay, let's see if we can get them home from here. Uh, we're a little close to the foxes and the wolves. So I don't know how that's going to work out. Hopefully, well. And hopefully we can get them home. Wait, nope, did not work. <laughs> did not work. Alright, so let's head west and see if we can get some easier bunnies, perhaps not near wolves, or foxes, or anything that will eat them. Okay, here's a desert. That's looking good. And there's some bunnies. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let's get you, and you, and hopefully one of you will get into a boat. Increase those odds here. Come on, hop in. There you go. Alright, let's head home. Come on, little bunny friend. We're on our way. One more animal. One more farm. So let's go make that farm. Uh, so F3B, by the way, is how I was seeing the hitboxes of those rabbits. All right, we're going to have to put down a bed super quick because we don't want, any want anything spawning around us while we're trying to do with this. Okay, so to make this hutch for the rabbits, we're basically going to do a modified cow crusher. So we're going to put a chest down and a hopper into the chest. Let's get a few more supplies. Where is our glass? There's the glass. We're going to need some of this so we can open up the chest. Now any blocks we put around this are pretty much just temporary. We can put anything we want there. But for now, we're just going to use the wood. Now the honey. This is going to be important. Because once we put this down, if they step on this, they will not be able to do their super jumps. That make them so hard to keep... 
So they'll stick on the honey and they won't be able to jump that high. Which will be nice for the farm. Now Mimi will be able to breed them a little easier as well. Now we're just going to bring this in glass and break this out. Now that's where we're going to drop them into. And yeah, I think I want to put the wood back actually. So we do need a step up. Put in place. Should have, I think, another PC up right in there. Perfect. We still need a step. We'll just use glass for now. Let's get the leads out. Let's break them out of this, uh, this bookshelf prison that I've made them. Come on. And we've got the carrots in our offhand. We've got them on leads. So this should be pretty simple. And again, we're just going to be doing what we normally do in this situation, whereas, which is pushing them into this little hole. Come on, Mr. Floppy. Oh, and I'm stuck. And we'll take that lead back. Thank you. Now you, come on, in you get. You're going to be a pain in the butt. You're going to be a pain. But you'll get in there. Come on, there we go. Perfect. That's all we need. Two to start the farm. Let's get those leads back. And let's... Oh, he's not grown yet. Okay, not a problem. Once he grows, we'll be able to breed those two. And that'll be fine. So we just added a little more wood just to spruce it up a little bit. Now it is time to take these guys. Okay? These clerics are going to be very important to our nether base. So one down, over to the portal, two more to go. Great. Now all we need to do is get them through this portal, and this portal will bring them right up to the ceiling of the nether, which will make transportation a lot easier. And I'm just going to boat them over to our gold farm. Come on. Yeah. Okay, fine. You'll be first then. And we don't want to lose our boats, because we are stingy. Oh, let's go. Nope, you can't get in the boat as well. You cannot get in the boat as well. Can't get in this one. There we go. Okay, so we're just going to throw him over here, straight into the portal. And once I break the boat, he should just go right through. Like that. We're going to row him over, and then we're going to get the other two guys and do the same. Alright, so I have... Put together here a lava column and it flows down and it flows forward. I did not have any gates so unfortunately I'm using trapdoors here. Uh, but the idea is I'm going to splashing these guys with potions. Hopefully the fire resist will keep them safe. Um, in some testing we do not actually drown so we can breathe in lava which makes me assume that they can as well. Um, now, this guy is taking forever. Is he coming up or what? There you are. You are stuck. I think in going up on the scaffolding, he kind of got lost. Like he wasn't being loaded in anymore. Because uh, it does look like he still has his fire resist. Can I get him all the way up in time? No. No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> can I get out in time. No, I can't. Okay, so we're going to try this again. We're going to follow the guy up. So we're going to do splashy splash. We've got so many fire resist potions on us, so we should be able to make it up. It's just going to take a while. So let's get in there. And we will follow this guy up. And we'll see you up there. One eternity later. 
Okay, and there is where it starts flowing forward. Fantastic. Alright, now we just gotta push this guy in. And these trapdoors really are making that difficult, but we'll get it. There we go. Go. And I didn't close that up. <laughs> okay. It's always something. Where is my pick? Let's break this so I can trap him in. Where is he? He is not here. Oh good. He thinks he is something else now. No sir, you are a cleric. Come on. In you go. Awesome. One down, two more to go. Let's get those bad boys in and make this look a little prettier because it's looking pretty awful. All right, so we've got them in. I don't know if this is going to be the end result. In fact, it's most likely not. But here it is. We've got them in place. And we've got, I think, a nice setup for them at the moment. I like the quartz. I don't know if I'm in love with the quartz. I might have to make it the smooth quartz so you don't have those lines in between. But yeah, we have our clerics up here now, so we can trade them all of that rotten flesh. And we can trade it for lapis, we can trade it for redstone, and we can trade it for glowstone. Fantastic. I and mean, we can get enderpearls as well. We don't need that from these guys. We're already getting enderpearls. We do need a place for them to store their stuff, but I think this is looking very nice. I must say. Can't yeah, forget the rabbits. Eat. Eat, my hungry pets. Yes, love me, love me, love each other. More rabbits, give me the hide. Uh, so, rabbit hide is used for bundles in the 117, but when we get there, we will get there and we'll discuss it. So, on the left here, I've continued with the red carpet and I've put in some chests for all the things we're trading from these guys. And I think that is looking really good. We've got some shulker boxes over here. Uh, I think we want to maybe take this and run a hopper line over there so we can put the chests next to the villagers. So we might do that in between. But that's going to do it for us today. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you are liking how everything's being decorated. If you have any suggestions on how to decorate, or if you hate how I decorate, Please let me know down in the comments. Also, let me know what you want to see me do next. But until next time, I hope you have a great day. Take care of yourself. Goodbye. Don't forget to subscribe and like.